Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Next one, rhombus. So what's a rhombus? Here also all sides are equal but the angles are not equal. So that's how a rhombus is different from a square. See, in this case also the diagonals bisect each other. So if if let's say that if ABCD is a rhombus, then the diagonals AC and BD, they bisect each other at point O such that BO is equal to OD and AO is equal to OC. Diagonals are not equal. So again, that is another uh, point of difference between rhombus and square. Diagonals are not equal. Here angles are also not equal. However, diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So here also these diagonals are at right angles to each other. So how can we make a rhombus using uh, a set square? So to make a rhombus, we need four set square because this time we do not want the angles to be 90 degree. So therefore we take four set square like this. So what, which set square did we take? Again, we have taken 30, 60, 90 set square. Now we have taken arranged four set square in this fashion such that this side of all the set square are equal in length. So therefore all sides are equal. But at the same time, these angles, you know, they are different. So all sides are equal, but all angles are not equal. Finally, the last quadrilateral that is trapezium. So what is a trapezium? So the speciality of trapezium is that here one pair of opposite sides are parallel. Please make a note of it that one pair of sides are parallel, not both the pairs. So which are the two pairs of sides which are parallel here in this trapezium ABCD? So here if you see AB is parallel to CD. So they are not equal but they are parallel. Whereas the other pair of opposite sides are not parallel. So here there is a condition that only one pair should be parallel and the other pair should be should not be parallel. But the non-parallel sides are equal in length. That's another interesting thing that the non-parallel sides are AD and BC. So they are equal in length. So a trapezium is always uh, you know, kind of noted by one pair of parallel sides and other pair of equal sides. So that is how we distinguish a trapezium. Here diagonals are equal. So if you draw the diagonals AC and BD, these would be the two diagonals. So we see that AC is equal to BD in case of a trapezium. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.